Hey guys, this is Noah from Elementor. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the Image Gallery widget. It is simple to use and comes in handy when wanting to display a clean grid size gallery on your page. To begin, we'll click on the Edit with Elementor button. Okay, first I'm going to search for the widget and drag it. And once it's dragged in its place, you will see the content area and the style area. In the content area, you have full control over the images of the image gallery widget. So first of all, let's select the images. Let's go to the media library and let's choose our images. All right. As you can see, all these images have captions and I'll show you later on how to display the captions on your page. Now let's insert them. Now if you want later on, you could add images by clicking right here. And now you have the image size where you could choose the size of the images in the widget, thumbnail, medium, medium, large, etc. You have the number of columns for the widget. And you have the link to setting where you could choose whether to link the images to a media file or to an attachment page or none. And you have the ordering, which you could set as default or randomize it, which randomizes the image's order with every refresh of the page. All right, that was the content area of the widget. We'll move on to the style area where you have the style settings for the images and for the captions. In the images style area, you have the spacing, which you could choose as default or customize it. It sets the spacing between the images in the widget. And you have the border type, where you could choose the type of border for the images, which is very cool. And you could choose the border's width and its color. And you could set the border radius, let's say 50 or 100. So you could see the images are circle now. All right, those were the image style options. We'll move on to the caption style options, where first of all, we'll click on show the captions, which actually displays the captions that I set before for the images. Once they're shown, you have the alignment as left, center, right, justified, its color, and typography, which you could set as default or customize it. You have size, family, weight, transform, style, line height, and letter spacing. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.